Hey everybody, welcome back to Crafty Treasures. This is Tracy, and I just want to thank you for coming. We're going to do our first DIY today. But first, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and give me a thumbs up. Let's get started. First what I did is I bought one of these canvases at the dollar store. I cut the back so that the canvas can come off. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint the frame because when it, that's done, the canvas will go on the back like this and it'll be like a frame. Let's pick a color. I have stain and I also have other colors. I think I might pick a blue or something. Let's see what I have. Okay, so I found a blue. This is a glossy blue. I haven't opened it yet. I'm just going to paint. around the frame. Don't forget to get the inside and the outside. And I'm using a brush. Some people might use like a foam or sure and getting all the spots with your brush it's important to get a lot on your fingers also it's very important that's what considers you a crafter is how much paint you have on your fingers or glue Paint or glue. Okay, and we're just gonna let that dry. Now we're gonna go to our, our canvas. Um, on this one, I am going to use sponges just because it gives it a more even layer. Of, I'm gonna use some chalk. I got at Walmart. This is more like a gray chalk, as you can tell. I'm just gonna keep and I'm probably gonna do two coats just to make sure. let that dry and we will add a second coat in a minute to chalk to use later and some Jacobean stain I like that color so we'll let that dry We'll add another coat and then we will get to the fun part. Okay, I laid down some newspaper. I don't want to get my table yucky. Open my stain. And just get it done. And just remember you want to get all the nooks and crannies all inside. Now 
And just remember, you are not a true crafter unless you have paint or glue or stain, in this case, on your fingers. Now you can use gloves. There's no, no shame in it. There's no shame in using gloves. I just don't have any. This is a beautiful color, I think. We're just gonna let that dry. Make sure and put your lid back on. And I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the blue ocean chalk that I got from Walmart. With my sponge. the corner or line as far as I can get it. This is a nice blue. It's like an ocean blue it says. Again, some people use a blotter. It's just um, the preference of the crafter. What you like to use. Okay, so we'll let that dry like we let the other one dry um, so we can add another coat. And now we're going to figure out what are we going to put on them. Because I was thinking we could put an image on them from the Cricut using some vinyl. And then on top and then underneath you could write on it because it is chalk. <laughs> okay, well let's look and see what we got. I'm gonna put this up here, let it dry. Okay. So I hit my crack key. I'm gonna do images. See, these are all the images that I have saved. So let's look. Okay, so I found this font. It's um, it says lake on it, and it's got like a fish on it. I'm gonna use iron on. Iron on. I'm just going to put it on my mat.
like so. I'm going to make it. That's what it's going to look like. can't see it, but it's there. I promise. Okay, so now I'm going to weed out my lake. Okay. Lake. Okay. So we restable around the canvas again. This is our other side now. And then basically we do what we did before. We're going to cut. And that is your reverse canvas with the chalk. I don't have a piece of chalk or I'd try it out, but that is what it looks like. Awesomely awesome.